Today it has been revealed that senior European Union officials said this about the SNP's plan to rejoin the EU. This is a direct quote. No euro, no membership. But that is not what Nicola Sturgeon's economic paper from last week said. So who is lying to the Scottish people? The European Union or Nicola Sturgeon? I read the article uh, in The Times uh, this morning with interest, good journalism as always and as would be expected, uh, but based on, I think, four uh, unnamed sources, I'm not saying uh, they have no legitimacy, but I am going to uh, give some named uh, sources in the words of Douglas Ross, direct quotes. Uh, so here's the first one. Not all countries in the European Union will join the euro. Uh, former Prime Minister David Cameron. <laughs> they are not going to force us to join the Euro. Uh, highly respected former Labour MEP David Martin. No country has ever been obliged to join the Euro. Graham Avery, former senior advisor at the European Policy Centre. Uh, just yesterday, uh, here is the Deputy Director at the Centre for European Reform. I'm not a Scottish nationalist, but Euro membership doesn't get forced on member states. Um, and lastly, well, here we go. Thank you. Douglas Ross doesn't want to listen to any of that. I, I know he often flip-flops on whether he agrees with Tory leaders or not, but clearly he's now disagreeing with David Cameron as well. But here, here is another one, uh, presiding officer. Uh, there is, and I uh, quote, uh, I'm quoting here, no intention of forcing countries to join the euro if they are not willing or not able to do so. That was the former president of the European Commission itself. Now, if quotes are not enough, how about hard evidence, presiding officer? Uh, many countries in the European Union uh, still uh, use their own currency. Uh, Sweden, well, name them. Uh, Bulgaria, Czechia, Hungary, Poland, Romania, and Sweden, a member state since 1995, still uses its own currency. So there you are, presiding officer. Direct quotes and hard evidence. Finally, though, if Douglas Ross wants to have this debate, I welcome it. So here's my challenge to Douglas Ross. Let's have a referendum and have these debates with the Scottish people. Douglas Ross. Desperate, desperate stuff from Nicola Sturgeon. Because, of course, what she didn't quote... Well, they're all applauding that point that it was desperate stuff from Nicola Sturgeon because they know she didn't quote that it is a criteria for countries entering into, not currently in the European Union, to join up to the Euro. Because Nicola Sturgeon has been pretending that her plan to break up the United Kingdom would mean Scotland rejoins the EU. But that's not true. The reality, according to these multiple European Union officials, is a Scotland separated from the United Kingdom would be refused entry unless it agreed to join the Euro. So the First Minister's big plan is actually to break Scotland away from by far our biggest trading partner, partner the United Kingdom, with nothing to show for it in the middle of a global inflation and cost of living crisis. And she wants to put families and businesses through that in the next 12 months. First Minister, how can that possibly be your priority right now? It is because I am focusing on people, businesses and communities and what is best for them, their well-being and their prosperity that I want to see Scotland become independent, in charge of our own affairs and our own destiny, not continuing to be dragged down the wrong path by Westminster uh, governments. Uh, that is the reality.